Hello everyone. Welcome to accessibility session number 25 to cover 3.3.2 labels or instructions success criterion of WCAG. Also, I wanted to share an important update regarding our company. After careful consideration and deliberation, we have decided to change our company name from Clarion Site to Hook2Accessibility.com. This decision was driven by our commitment to better align our brand with the work we do and the services we provide. As a company focused on web accessibility, it is crucial that our name reflects our dedication to making digital experiences more inclusive and accessible for all users. Please note that this name change will not impact our commitment to delivering exceptional quality and personalized support to our clients. Our team remains unchanged, and we will continue to provide the same level of expertise and dedication to accessibility that you have come to expect from us. Let's start with today's session on 3.3.2 labels or instructions. When it comes to labels and instructions in web accessibility, the Web Content Accessibility Guidelines, WCAG, provides specific guidance to ensure that labels and instructions are presented in an accessible manner. Here are some key details to consider. Labeling form fields. Ensure that each form field has a programmatically associated label that describes the purpose or expected input of the field. Use the label element and associate it with the form field using the for attribute that matches the field's it attribute. If the label cannot be visually displayed, use alternative methods such as visually hidden text, aria aria label attribute, or aria aria label ed be attribute. I have recorded a few videos on form labels with a screen reader on. In the first video, the contact us form fields have no labels which is making very difficult to understand the required input type. System has, system has new window. Sy system has new window. Entering contact us web content. Required edit text. Required edit text. Required edit text. Submit button. You are currently on the button inside. The next video shows that the labels are visible but not programmatically associated with the form fields. This form is useful for sighted users, but people who rely on screen readers cannot understand the required input type. These labels are not useful for visually disabled audiences. Has new win system has system has new window leaving toolbar item pal required edit text required edit text required edit text required edit text submit button. You are currently on the button. Now I am going to add labels that are programmatically associated with the respective form field. The screen reader will read these labels in the following video when the form field receives the focus. System has new window. System has system has new window. System email name required edit text. Email required edit text. Message required edit text. Submit button. You are currently on the button inside. Provide instructions. Provide instructions that help users avoid common errors or mistakes. For example, if specific input requirements or formatting rules apply, clearly communicate these instructions to guide users in entering valid and accurate information. In this example, a registration form has name, email, and date of birth fields. The placeholder attribute of the date of birth input field is set to dd slash mm slash yyyy to provide an example format within the field itself. The screen reader will also announce this placeholder text explaining the required format to visually disabled users. Required fields To ensure that required fields are accessible according to Web Content Accessibility Guidelines, WCAG, programmatically indicate required fields. Use the required attribute on form fields to indicate that they are mandatory. Additionally, use an accessible method to visually highlight required fields, for example asterisk, color change, icon, while maintaining a clear and visible distinction. 
This screenshot of the code snippet shows that the required fields are coded to help sighted and non-sighted users identify them. The following video shows how a screen reader announces the required field if it is programmatically indicated. System has new, system has, system has new window, system has new, email, name, star, required edit text. Email, star, required edit text email. Message, star, required edit text, system, ha submit, button. You are currently on the button, inside of web content, to click this button, voiceover off. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions. www.hook2accessibility.com Email us at support at hook2accessibility.com